Is there anything better than a machine that can be operated by just one man? How about one that operates itself? The Hain Company has taken the vent block drill and automated its workflow. The brain of the machine lives in a control box on the back. A PLC circuit board runs a series of pneumatic control valves that drive the unit's hydraulics. The hydraulics feed control can be easily adjusted. The power switch on the side of the control box acts as a fuse block and will reset the system if the machine errors out. A heartbeat on the circuit board lets you know the system is operating correctly. Here's how you set it up. First, set the magazine feed tray to match the length of your lumber. The tray is infinitely adjustable between 14 and 7 16 to 22 and 7 16 inches. A crank handle under the feed tray lets you center the drill holes on your lumber. With the length set, it's time to fix the height. Another crank handle on the bottom of the machine moves two synchronized ball screw actuators in parallel, opening the throat for larger boards. It can take anything from 2x4 all the way up to 2x14. A qualifying bar makes sure the board is the right height. Once the auto vent block drill is ready to go, load in your lumber and push the button. The escapement side clamp pins the lumber in place while the feed foot moves the bottom board into the machine. On the inside, a guide wheel rolls the board to the correct spot and the pneumatic valves kick in. The motor assembly and drill bits are driven into the block while compressed air blasts the dust and debris downward. When the end of stroke sensor is hit, the motor moves back. The finished board is dropped onto the holding tray and the cycle runs again. And again. And again. As long as it has wood in the feed tray, the automated vent block drill will keep on working hard. So you don't have to.